I am done. I am getting rid of my Retro Pocket 2 Plus. Shit. Why? How on earth? Sacrilege! The Retro Pocket 2 Plus is an amazing retro gaming handheld device. You just did a video a few weeks ago putting it at the joint number one with a Retro Pocket 3, so how on earth can you get rid of the Retro Pocket 2 Plus? Well, the problem is the Retro Pocket 3. And another more important reason, which I will let you know at the end. As I said in my top five best retro game and handheld video, the Retro Pocket 2 Plus and the Retro Pocket 3 are the absolute best of the budget systems you can get right now. With the only thing differentiating the two, how you prefer to play, whether you're more interested in the aspect ratio of the Retro Pocket 2 Plus for retro games, or whether you like the PSP form factor of the Retro Pocket 3. One thing I've always made clear and stood by though, is that if you have a Retro Pocket 2 Plus, you don't need a Retro Pocket Pocket 3 and vice versa. And for me, the Retro Pocket 3 comes very close to perfection in what I want from a retro game and handheld system. Now, as a collector and a reviewer of retro game and handheld systems, I fully intended to have a Retro Pocket 2 Plus and a Retro Pocket 3. I was sure I was going to find a spot for both of them in my life. But in all honesty, now the amount of retro game and handhelds that are coming out and the amount that are in my collection is starting to get a bit ridiculous. I don't need them. And trying to keep them just borders on hoarding. Once I've given you as much information as you need for these devices all I need to think about is am I going to use it am I going to keep on using it or is anybody in my family going to need it and honestly when it comes to retro pocket 2 plus I just don't need it there's no space for it in my collection and there's no need for it in my retro gaming handheld playtime I already have devices that I've happily allocated to my kids and ones that my wife likes to use the RG351s for example are perfect for the kids and my wife even enjoys the RG552 I know some of you might think what but she really loves that thing and that's what's really important about these devices it's about what the user gets from it and how they're going to enjoy it how they're going to use it in their life and right now with the retro pocket 2 plus still being able to be sold for a decent price it's the right time to get rid of it however as you can see i'm a collector i like to keep things i find it really difficult to get rid of them even this stormtrooper kind of beer like you know it's just a kind of beer but i've kept yeah it's got a cool logo on it but it's just a kind of beer and honestly i would be keeping the retro pocket 2 plus but there's a more important reason why I'm getting rid of it. And that's because I've just ordered a Steam Deck and it's gonna be here in the next week. I am absolutely psyched. I cannot wait to check out this system. I've seen so many people talking about it. So many videos going on about how amazing it is. And it's no longer just that hype. It's no longer just that initial wow factor from people. A year later and people are still loving this device and it's getting better and better. I just could not resist. And as a lot of you know, I've got an AY and Loki coming whenever that gets released. So it'll be really nice to be able to compare the two devices side by side. And chances are when I pick my favorite, I'll be getting rid of one of those two as well because they're just so damn expensive. But what it means is that I'll be able to dive into the world of the Steam Deck and to the world of gaming handheld PC, something that's really interested me for ages, but has been out of reach due to the price tag. Selling the Retro Pocket 2 and a few other things in the collection is gonna pay for the Steam Deck and it's gonna be worth it. Because as I mentioned on a post a few days ago, I'm making the decision to focus on only the best on this channel, to to focus on the devices that I'm really interested in and the ones that I think will be really amazing for you guys too. There's so many products out there with so many issues and so many duds, it would be so easy to focus on the negative. But I'm somebody who likes to focus on the positive. I focus on gaming because I enjoy it and I want to focus on what I enjoy about gaming and the devices that I'm excited about and looking forward to. And I want to share that with you too because that's what gaming's about and that's why I started this channel to share with the community the amazing world of video games and the amazing world of handheld gaming that I love so much. Which is why I'm so excited about the Steam Deck arriving and I'll be able to share all those amazing experiences with you guys and you can share yours with me too. Now in the meantime, while we wait, if you wanna check out the reasons why I also ordered the AYN Loki, then you can check it out right here.